We're going to use the same hoop size, the 13 by 18 centimeter hoop, and image import, and then use your background filters to lighten your image. Image, background filters, and you can see I've gone down to 25%, saturation minus 50, and then apply. So, let's go ahead and start digitizing. We're going to do the applique outline first. You want to do this as an open applique because you don't want to have that heavy satin stitching under the body. That means we're going to do it with the outline tool and conversions. Click on the create outline tool. Just leave your design at the default or your color at the default. Start right here underneath his foot with the first node. Make sure you have curve stitch selected. A second node there to round your triangle. Same thing at the bottom, one, two, right directly across from it, round your triangle. And match your nodes across the top wherever possible. So there you go, right there. Set a node right there inside the body. And then press the D key, right click, close edges. You have your outline. And that is your tie down stitches for your applique. Remember to save your design at this point. The tie down stitches are finished. Now we need to add our tack down and our final applique outline. But we don't want any of the applique outlines in this section right here. So we're going to copy and paste. Control C, Control V. We have a second copy of the outline. Change it to red so you don't get confused. Right click, edit. Right click on the node to the right side of his pants and split object. This tiny little section right here will be deleted. And if I hide this one, you can see our new outline has the gap in it underneath his pants. What we want to do is convert create column from outline and you want a width of 2 to 2.5. Click on the check mark twice and you now have a column stitch. Parameters. Set your parameters for this to a density of anywhere from 25 to 35 and remove your underlay selections. Click on OK. Control G and you can see you now have your tack down stitches. Change that to a light pink or any color of your choice. We've already copied and pasted our first outline. Let's use the second outline, the one with the gap in it. Convert, create column from outline. This one you want at 3.5 which is a nice width for an applique outline. Parameters. Remove your underlay selections. Your density will be left at 4.5. Pull compensation 2, and I better bring it down so you can see it. No underlay, 4.52. Click on OK. Control G generate stitches, and you have your applique outline. If you are at all concerned that it isn't far enough under the pant leg or the foot, just edit it and bring in any stitches that you think may need to be moved. And I would move just that one stitch. Press the space bar to finish object. Control G and your applique is now complete. Delete that extra outline. You don't need it and change your final applique outline to a blue or a color of your choice. And that's how quick it is to create an open applique. Right click and join your applique objects. Save your design and then we'll go on to the block of cheese.